All right, we are the Hebrew Israelites. We come out here week in and week out to prophesy the words of the Heavenly Father and His Son, which is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the Father and Yahweh Shai being the, the Son of the Heavenly Father. So we like to give our praise and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, for putting the Spirit upon us to uh, come out here and, and push His word. Right. We out here to prophesy the downfall of this wicked ass kingdom, which you know is America, but according to the scriptures, it's Babylon the Great, as well as other names. The mother, the mother of harlots, of abominations, of all abominations. That's talking about right here in America, the most <laughs> abominable, detestable place on the face of the planet. Calm. The most abom abominable and detestable place or uh, uh, kingdom to ever stand. And we only, when we only concerned with the elect, the most high waking up the elect. That's, that's why we out here on the highways and byways doing this. You got something? Get a Jeremiah 16 and 16, and then get that one in uh, Peter. No, I'm not sorry, I mean uh, in Matthew. Peter and Andrew, I think four and seven. Yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead. Jeremiah uh, 16 and 16. Behold, I will send forth many fishers, said the Lord, and they shall fish them. Right, so that's that's why we out here. That's why we out here, because that's what the, the Most High said. Read it again, brother. Behold, I will send forth many many fishers, said the Lord, and they shall fish them. And they shall fish them. The them is talking about the elect. We're not out here fishing for little kids. We're not out here fishing for women. We're fishing for uh, men. And technically, according to the scriptures, you become a man around the age of 12. You know? When your nuts drop and you're able to, uh, to, to uh, reproduce. Yeah, you know, when them little hairs start going around you, 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 you set. We out, we out here for men. You know, young young men in particular, not old, not not old men, because most nine times out of ten, if you uh, if you old, then you're not gonna get this. This that's in the scriptures, you know. So uh, continue, uh, continue, brother. Jeremiah. Uh, 16 and 16. Behold, I will set forth many fishers, said the Lord. They shall fish them. And after, I will send for many hunters. Yeah, so we out here fishing for the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists oh of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, get uh, real quick, get Proverbs 8 and 4. And then I want you to get a uh, Get a Revelation 21, where it say the tabernacle of the Most High is with men. Yeah. Yeah, bring that out. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 4. Unto you, O men, I come, and my voice is to the sons of man. Hey, read verse, uh, what verse 7? Uh, I mean, 3 say. Can we take a picture of you? No, not of us. If you want a picture of the sun, these signs, you can take a picture of them. Not of us, though. Go ahead, huh? Proverbs 8 and 3. She cried at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming, and at end. Matter of fact, start at verse 1, huh? Okay. Proverbs 8 and 1. We always read, you know, all the different camps. We always read uh, Proverbs 8 and 4, but we're going to start at 1. Hey, real quick, but it, and that's... Through the spirit, man, it always come out. We yeah. out here for the elect and the brother leading on. We out here for the elect men out of Israel. Cause you that's distinct the the, the the difference between us and them other Israelite camps, man. Yeah. They be focused in on women, man. Like we told them two bird brain Latin bitches. Once you say you can't take a picture, they up the street, man. Fuck these women, man. Uh, We're all the tribes, not just that black bitch, man. Their agenda is here in, in this wicked kingdom, America. That's all they're about. Yeah. If you ain't talking about what's going on over here in this in this nasty ass uh, society 
then you looked at strings, you know? That's why we only out here for the elect. And the, and the, and the hinge on what you said, I, they on, they on women, these other Israelite camps, they don't cater to women, they on everything outside of fishing for the elect. You know, they went they in the, trying to bring in the whole nation together. Bring in all type of Israelites. The most high ain't, ain't with that. You had something? Oh, hold on. No, no, no. Proverbs 8. Doth not with some cry and understanding put forth a voice. Hey, since you brought, go ahead and get a proverb 1 and start at 20. But hold, just hold it. <clears throat> go ahead, brother. She standeth in the top of high places by the way in the places of the past. Hey, she, this go this go hand in hand with Proverbs uh, one, 1 starting at verse 20. It says wisdom, which is the it's talking about the, the wisdom and understanding of this Bible. <laughs> it says she's standing in the in the tops. How it go? She's standing in the tops of high places. Oh. Right, just like Yahweh said, uh do not you get a uh, set a fire uh, on a candlestick and, and do you uh and put it under a bushel. You know, I'm roughly paraphrasing, he said no. Or set a fire and put it under a bushel. He said, no, you put it on a candlestick. So it can give light to uh, darkness. You know? And that's that's what we out here uh, to do. To shed light on this dark, wicked society. That 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 uh we may uh do the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, uh bring in the elect, you know. As well as all the other brethren around the world that's that's Pushing the true doctrine, you know. All right, all right, go ahead. She standing in the top of high places. She standing in the top of high places, not in a building, not somewhere uh uh hidden, not when it's uh raining all the time. It don't matter whether whether it's raining, whatever the weather condition is, because you got some camps. That don't that don't come out when the weather ain't uh appeasable. Uh -huh. You know? Go ahead, all right. By the way, in the places of the past, she cried that the gates at the entry of the city, at See? the coming in at the doors. Out in the open, and the we in the we in the gates right now. Hey, you can know? I jump back yeah. up in, uh, in verse two? It say, "By the way, in the pat, in the places of the pats, man." And that pat, they say, uh, "Pats is in plural, man." Going right back to what he spoke on a minute ago about these buildings, these Harlan houses. You're not in the way in, uh, of the pats, man. We out on the highways and byways across the, uh, across the globe, man. That's yep. what the true wisdom is. We in the entrance of the city. Because no matter where you go to uh, around America, if you go to that particular city, uh, you're going you're gonna to hit downtown, you know? Yeah. You're going you're gonna to pass through it or buy it, you know? Go ahead, brother. Unto you, O men, I come. And my voice is to the sons of men. And I'm not saying that that's the only plague. That's the... You know, it might, it might not be the case for every city, but like as far as where's the the uh, the place of commerce, the chief place of commerce or business where you can catch all the nations uh, at, you know. But for the most part, well, go ahead. Right? Oh, ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye an understanding heart. Right, because at one point in time. All the different brothers that, that have been woken up uh, through the spirit, through the spirit of the heavenly Father and His Son, was fools in the world. We was we was in the world, so that make you a fool. It said, "Fools and with us, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart." Right, because we we was all in the world fools, and it says, "Be ye of an understanding heart." The only ones that's really gonna understand this doctrine. And keep the doctrine until the uh, until the very end is the elect. You know, 
Because if you don't if you don't endure to the end, then basically you ain't got the understanding. Yep. And that's and you know we ain't exempt from that, you know. And that come with being open. Because that heart, that's talking about your mind. And only a humble, um, a humble person is gonna be able to put off all the bullshit they thought they knew in the world and, 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 and key in and listen and have a humble uh, mindset to say, you know what, I don't know shit and I need to shut up and learn, man. So I can get proper understanding. Uh, verse six, here, for I will speak of excellent things and the opening of my lips shall be right things. Yeah, the excellent thing and then the right things is, is, is talking about this word. The law, statutes, and commandments, prophecy being fulfilled, speaking about the prophecy. You know, the history, the true history, not this distorted, watered down uh, garbage that the so-called white man got in the earth. Who is, uh, by the way, who is Esau uh, in, in the scriptures? Uh, the Edomites. It's not talking about going to these different universities or these different getting schooled at one of these institutions. Uh, that's not the excellency. Uh, dealing with knowledge. That's a bunch of madness and garbage that the most high is finna throw down. And then, and then matter, matter of fact, where the most high has already started the process of throwing it down. That's why we out here on the highways speaking this truth. Yeah, Along with, with you know, yeah, from, from, the, from the elders on down. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. <clears throat> Verse seven, Proverbs eight and seven, for my mouth shall speak truth and wickedness is a, an abomination to my lips. With eight, you already went to eight and four? Yeah, yeah. That's what, I, that's what I wanted. Just stop right there. Read eight and four again. I don't Proverbs want to start eight, from the top. Yeah. Proverbs eight and four. Because it's talking about the wisdom and the knowledge of this, of this Bible. And then it say, well read it brother. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. And my voice is, Unto you, old men, I call. This is the Most High speaking through uh, through uh, Solomon. He said, "Unto you, old, old men, I call. My voice is to the sons of men." So, so the Most High ain't dealing with no damn woman, you know. And the Most High ain't and definitely we ain't out here trying to uh, cater to you being a family man because we ain't in that time. That yep. time is gonna come in the kingdom. Not saying if you got a family, just don't don't uh, uphold your obligations, because you do have obligations according to the scripture to your to your uh, basically your, your blood family, for lack of better words, like your children, your actual children. If you got a woman or whatever, uh, a wife, basically a demon. What you got? If you got a demon. You know, but this word is taking priority over, over that. We ain't in the time of catering and trying to build up uh, the fam. The family we trying to build up is the, the, the brotherhood. You know, yep. we the children. You know. Hey, can I yeah, yeah, right quick? This ain't no, <clears throat> this ain't no special time in history. As far as going into that, the most I ain't never dealt with, with women. Huh. He always dealt with men, man. Yeah. The woman was made for man. The Most High gave us law, statutes, and commandments to live by, to guide our families and households, to, to keep our women and children in order. Right. Most High deals with us, we deal with the women and the children. Yeah. You know, that's the order that was set up. But the Most High will, you know, He will bring judgment upon the women and children, which you gonna see that. But, right, this is nothing special, man. You got all these women coming out calling themselves prophetesses, deaconesses, you know, they priest this and, you know, bishop that. Yeah. And the most I ain't gave them, the most I deprived women of wisdom. And them masculine uh, you know, words. Yeah, which goes back to servant, and a woman can't even be a servant to her man. Uh. But yet she gonna jump harder and think she gonna be a servant to the, the heavenly father or the only begotten son. 
You got to get in your order. Go ahead, bro. And then we ain't out here, you know, the point I'm making, we ain't out you ain't, it ain't time to be focused on trying to get right. your kids in order and your woman in order and all that because it ain't going to happen. Because Esau got, got uh, control of them. Yep. He got control of the, of the so called black woman and the Latino and the Native American, so called Native American uh, woman. So, therefore, they, they got control of the kid. Because if you try to enforce law and order according to the scripture in the house, the woman is going to rebel against it. Yep. The whore, the demon, cause that's what they are, a bunch of whores and demons. We just call it how it is. That's what the scriptures say. Hey, you had brought out a uh, good point uh, right before camp. You was basically saying how Satan and the, uh, the demons, he got uh, uh, trying to distract you from studying, man. So you go, uh, you won't have your armor on, man, and that's the main distraction is uh, your family, your damn demon, and your kid, man, to keep you from studying. You focus on trying to get your household in order and, and, and focus on keeping a damn wicked bitch happy. You ain't in these scriptures, man. Then if you do have a, a damn woman come up, they don't know how to shut their goddamn mouth. Con. You know, a humble brother that's that potentially can come into the fold through the through the spirit is, is gonna be a quiet quiet man it ain't always popping off he's gonna be, be listening a woman can't listen to shit unless the so-called white man telling her something mm -hmm. now where we was at in the scripture uh, read that again I one more time know. and then jump to uh, Job 39 and 17 Proverbs 8 and 4, unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. Right, so when you're dealing with the wisdom and knowledge and understanding, a woman ain't going to get it. Not because I feel that way, this is what the Most High can have, uh, say about it. So you got a problem with it, you don't got a problem with, with me or no other brother pushing the, 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 the truth. You got a problem with the Heavenly Father and His Son. Come on. Go ahead, all right. Job 39 and 17. Because the Mosiah had deprived her of wisdom, neither had he imparted to her understanding. Right. Understanding these parables and these dark senses, they ain't gonna get it. And then if they do get it, they gonna go, they gonna try to uh they gonna re uh think it. Well maybe it mean this, or maybe it mean that. Uh, let me go see what the white man say about it. Uh, let me go see what this Israelite camp say about it. Or that, this other Israelite camp. Then they gonna be bugged out. You know? Hey, and we gotta focus on the whole, everything in these scriptures, man. And even if they tried to understand, it's certain things they couldn't cope with, man. 